Good morning. Welcome to our devotional time in the Gospel of Luke. We're moving into chapter 4 now, and we're going to go through these temptations of Jesus in the wilderness. Verses 1 to 2 today, and here's what it says. Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for 40 days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing, and afterward, when they had ended, he was hungry. So some bits here to think about. Very interesting to me. I mean, we've just had the baptism of Jesus, but here it says, Then Jesus being filled with the Holy Spirit. So he's filled with the Holy Spirit, and immediately after he's filled with the Holy Spirit, he returns and he is led by the Spirit into the wilderness. The underlying word here in the Greek, it's ekbalo. We get the word ballistic missile, you know, something that kind of you throw it, ballistic. Ekbalo means ek is cast out. Jesus was basically thrown by the Holy Spirit into this wilderness testing. Uh, it's a very forceful way of putting it here. And so he's filled with the Holy Spirit, so he's prepared for the test, and then he's thrown into this remarkable test in the wilderness that's, that we'll be seeing in the next couple of mornings. So interesting how God works, God the Father. He, he gives Jesus everything he needs, fills him with the Holy Spirit, and then Jesus is uh, rather, rather roughly thrown into this remarkable test we're going to be reading about. He's filled with the Holy Spirit, and he's going to have this immediately, this really a stringent test come upon him. Verse 2, he's being tempted or tested for 40 days by the devil. Now, that's, that's a pretty long test because he's not going to be eating during that time, and that's about enough to kill most people. At the end of verse 2, he's hungry. So Jesus is uh, his, his wasting away, he's, he's, his muscle mass is decreasing while he's, he's doing this fasting thing, but he's filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus is being, he's preparing himself for the, the, the confrontation which he knows is coming. So as soon as he's ready, the Father puts him into this, this remarkable test. God doesn't ever give you and I a test that he doesn't prepare us for. If there's a test that comes to you or to me, and, you know, the Holy Spirit's available. He will fill us with his Holy Spirit, which is always available to us, and he's always wanting to fill us with his Holy Spirit. He will prepare you and I, or I, for any test that we may face. So something to keep in mind, God the Father's on your side. He will give you all the tools you need. He will give you the Holy Spirit as you, that you need uh, in full, and any test that might be come your way. I mean, there are times when you or I may be ekbalowed into a, a dramatic test. A throne cast, just uh, just ballistically thrown into a test. But that shouldn't seem weird to us. It shouldn't seem like, oh no, there's going to be a test. God knows what he's doing. And he will not allow you to be tested above what you are able. But with the temptation, he'll make a way of escape so that you can endure it. So that's 1 Corinthians 10, 13. And it's true for Jesus going into the test. And it's true for you and I going into the test. And we'll see more about this as we, as we go into this remarkable test. But for now, let's you and I give thanks. Dear Father in heaven, we are thankful that you are willing to fill us with your Holy Spirit. You filled Jesus and you're ready to fill us. You're, you do cause us to come into situations of testing. That's a good thing because that strengthens us for your work. So thank you for that, Lord. Uh, we pray that you will give us lessons and insights from Jesus' experience of testing as our example and also show us, Lord, how we can prevail through your mighty spirit, through whatever we may be facing. Lord, bless each one who's listening. Give them your Holy Spirit this day. May nothing intervene between them. May they receive the fullness of your Holy Spirit today. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. That's our prayer. May God bless you today and absolutely infill you with his, his presence.